what should business people, entrepreneurs, trainers do to move to the next level in this digital age? Really great question. And I would say, without a shadow of a doubt, focus on marketing. Today we're in the company of a phenomenal success story. Dean Graziosi is a multimillionaire, New York Times best-selling author. Talk about over a million books sold total. We have a living legend, Dean Graziosi. <laughs> and we have a living legend when it comes to personal development. You're talking about a man who's hundreds of millions of dollars in sales. One of the biggest names in the history of this segment. He's also reaching millions of people online and is like so much. You've impacted so many we lives. literally booked this event because we wanted you to come speak at this event. <laughs> What I love about Dean is he's a genius at what he does, but the man, as corny as it sounds, he cares. It's easy to care verbally with your lips. He cares with the direction his feet move. Hey guys, it's about 6 a.m. I'm on the top of Camelback Mountain. What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? Just got done running the mountain. Up well, it's entrepreneurs like Dean that are helping make the world a better place. What's even more remarkable is Dean he started by this You're a powerful big spirit. Sometimes it takes someone seeing in you what you don't even see in yourself. His ability to captivate and inspire people. And so there's so much wisdom in there. Incredible generosity and your enthusiasm. Give it up for Dean. The man changed my life. Good, Mike? Hello, this is Dean. Can you hear that all right? Go ahead, Adrian. Say something. What's up? What's up, Romania? What's up? What's up? <laughs> we got you. We got you. All right, perfect. Do you want to just adjust the headroom and then let's fly? Actually, I might be good the way this one. Um, yeah, that's good. If I stay like this, just if I... Yeah, it's good. We recording? Go. All right, we're good to go. Let's do okay. it. We are on live? We're live. Okay, what's up, what's up, Romania? <laughs> Hello, people from everywhere. I'm uh, Adrian Jacob, and I have the pleasure to be here today with the uh, master entrepreneur, marketer, and success coach, Mr. Dean Graziosi. is a, a pleasure of mine. Oh, He's a you. business owner, a real estate investor, and leading trainer through the world, and not finally an uh, inspirational speaker. I want to encourage you guys with no further ado to really pay attention, observe a lot of in the windows of in this interview because uh, this man uh, fought with his, with his life around and help you to live a better life, to create a better business and to create more abundance. That's why I wanted to be here, Dean, especially for people from Romania, Europe and Eastern Europe, so uh, thank you again for being here. I love what you do, and I'm very excited and blessed for this day because, uh, frankly speaking, I I, I uh, first found about you probably six or seven years ago from Tony Robbins and Joe Polish, and uh, in the short time I had to find out that you are so passionate about what you do and so dedicated to helping others, and today. I know, I know you because I read your stuff and listen to your social media and when back in research I was more and more impressed because frankly speaking I, I agree so much with so what, what you do and Tony talk about so there's so much you could teach us. Now uh, for a little I want to people understand what do you need to succeed because uh, before you become the king of infomercial multiple New York Times best-selling author, creator of multiple nine-figure company and one of the best real estate educator and marketer, you, you started out in the route situation. So let's take us a little back. Where, where did, did you grow up? And what was, was your journey from where did the little Dean Graziosi first yeah. step to success? You have an Italian name. Yes. Were you born in Italy? No, my grandparents came from Italy. Oh, oh. Yep. So, so if you want, I'll share a little bit. First off, thank you for uh, doing what you do, Adrian, and sharing the, the messages and, and self-education. And self-education is nothing more than, than learning on your own, finding and learning from people who have already been there, learning from people who have already yeah. discovered a faster path. And I know you do that. I know that's part of yes. your life, and I know you love to share it with others. So thank you for that, and yeah. thank you for giving sure. that to the world. 
Um, for me, um, you know, uh, if you're listening to this from different parts of the world, we come from different cultures. We come from different backgrounds. I don't speak any other language except English. Uh, my <laughs> Italian family doesn't like that at all. They, <laughs> they wish I spoke Italian. But when it comes to the core of humans, we're all the same. I wish all the world would realize that. I think we'd avoid a lot of headaches and we'd avoid a lot of pain and a lot of wars if we realize that we all struggle with certain things and we all desire certain things and we all are seeking another level, uh, seeking yeah. to reach our own full potential, right? So many of us well, know yeah. we have more to give the totally world. Totally agree. Totally we have agree, more to yeah. give the world, but a lot of people don't have access to it or they don't have access to traditional education or they don't have anybody to help mentor them and guide them. And along with my dear friend, Tony Robbins, especially in the last few years, I mean, we've been doing this, him for 40 years, me for 25 years. Whoa, we've combined whoa. forces in the last couple of years to really help push this out to the world, to have the ability to self-educate, to gain the knowledge. Because many years, you know, not that many years ago, Adrian, you know this, there wasn't iTunes and podcasts and there wasn't yes, Instagram yes. and there wasn't Facebook, there wasn't YouTube. You wouldn't have been able to watch me on social media 20 years yes, ago. Yes, indeed. Yes, but indeed. The, but the world has changed. We have access to so many people. So um, just to give you a little background, uh, I grew up in a small town in upstate, upstate New York uh, in the States, a town of about 5,000 people. Uh, my parents worked very, very hard. They divorced when I was three, but they worked very hard, oh. but not to have good results. So I learned at a young age that hard work alone wasn't enough to be successful or be wealthy or to be happy because my parents both worked very hard but we didn't have much we we were definitely uh struggling there was a lot of days i went to school without lunch money there was i wore hand-me-down clothes we we drove junky cars you know we we, we didn't have much at all growing up and, and again it's not poor me uh, that was my journey that was meant for me um but what oh, i realized man. and this is the part i think no matter where you live in the world, uh, and hopefully you can, I'm not talking too fast, but you can understand this. Yes, um, yes. That um, it doesn't really matter our circumstances. It matters the right kind of knowledge we gain and take action with that knowledge. So for me, what I realized at a very young age is that my parents, though I love them both dearly, the habits that they had kept them without money. It kept them sad sometimes. It kept them stressed. And I identified and saw other people in my town, I was lucky to meet some older friends in their 70s, um, that had different habits and they approached life differently. And they were more successful financially, they were happier and they didn't stress as much. So no matter where you live in the world, there's people and it could be your family and love them dearly, but if there's certain things they do that cause them to have lack of money and lots of worry, if it's not working for them, it most likely won't work for you, so we have to make changes. And it got to a point where I watched my mother work so hard to have nothing that I knew I had to do more. So I just okay. became obsessed with learning from people who have already achieved, people that were happier, people that were wealthy, wealthier, and I, I started my own uh, firewood business in high school. I used to cut down trees and sell it to people with stoves. And then I started buying wrecked cars and fixing You have the brothers, sisters. Yes. And uh, then I um, and then I started buying wrecked cars. Then I started buying rundown houses and remodeling those. And I built a, a, a pretty good business for myself in my 20s. Um, and then I started down the road of self-education. I got Tony Robbins course at 25 years old. I started learning mm. about some of the yeah. old uh, greats in the States, at least, Dale Carnegie and Napoleon Hill and, and Earl, Earl Nightingale. And, and I started teaching myself how to get away from the habits that didn't work and how to create new habits that moved the needle in my life, allowed me to tap into my full potential. Uh, and in 1998, I created my first information product, just like some of the ones you have on your wall behind you. I created a product to show people what I did on how I became successful. I created an infomercial, um, which here in the States, it's just TV, uh, a half hour TV show that sold my courses, sold wow. my books. And uh, through a lot of trial and error, a lot of failure, uh, going broke twice, 
I was able to to go through all that and I feel blessed today. Like you said, I, I have multiple New York Times bestselling books. I've started over 13 companies. Um, I've been able to touch the lives of millions of people around the world. I own hundreds of real estate uh, properties around the country um, and I've had more success than I've ever dreamed was even possible. Um, coming from a little town with nothing, living in a trailer. Uh, we lived, I lived with my mom in a little trailer. Coming from that to where I am now was a, is a, is a huge transformation and I love to share and wow. any questions I have today to wow. serve on how I, and, and I'm okay with serving how I tactically did it. I'm okay with serving and sharing today how I emotionally kept driven because I failed way more times than I succeeded. I had my family always tell me that I was a dreamer or I was crazy or that's for other people or that's for rich people or that's for people with an education. I never went past, uh, I never went to university. So I've had all the negativity and I found a way to stay strong and get through that. Um, I've also had the sleepless nights and being very stressed and worried and broke. So I know Ooh. every part of it, Adrian. So I would love for you to guide me on what you think would be the best to deliver to your listeners uh, to make this very worth their time uh, to spend it with us. Okay, okay. Uh, like I said, uh, I, I uh, let me ask you a couple of questions uh, that I picked sure. from Romania's entrepreneurs. And uh, by the way, I heard uh, first time for, uh, by Napoleon Hill at uh, 40 years. Wow. It's uh, now I have 51. But uh, this, this, this moment was uh, a, a light who opened yeah. in my mind. Now, uh, one thing, but first, one thing uh, that I want to do to have everybody know is that Dean written six books. Why? Yes. Six? Yes. Six? But uh, uh, Millionaire Success Habits and Recently Underachiever Advantage are great. And for me, when I was reading it first, my Highlander was on fire. <laughs> so, guys, get these books. Get these books Dean written, and uh, you will get tremendous value of, uh, out of it. Now, the question is, how did you know or when you realize that yesterday's poor man will become the successful man of today? What exactly made you push to do this, and what helped you overcome the obstacle. When, what and when was turning point of your life uh, when you went to success? I put these three uh, questions in one because uh, I condense to, to... Yeah, yeah, I get it. So le let me share. Um, again, it doesn't matter where we live. Uh, at the core, we're all the same. I believe this with all, yeah. with all of me. Um, and let's, let's just get something that we all know to be true, is we all make decisions based on one of two things, uh, uh, pain or pleasure. If you boil down everything in your life, we want to fall in love because we want the pleasure of love. We want to get out of a job that's not paying us enough because it's painful. If you think about, you go to the gym maybe because you want to look better or you want to avoid being sick. Everything we do in life comes down to two emotions. You'd make a decision based on pain, getting away from pain, or moving towards pleasure. And I think we can all agree on that. So when people always ask me, what kept you going when you failed? What kept you going when you were broke? What kept you going when your family didn't be, uh, believe in you? And I go back to that, Adrian, is if you're listening right now, half of you, and I've done this and I've asked tens of thousands of people through the years, Half of you will make decisions <coughs> to avoid pain stronger than going towards pleasure. The other half of you will make decisions based on going towards pleasure rather than pain. So you need to know which one motivates you the most. Now for me, for example, some of you watching um, know that there's more that you can give the world. There's more freedom that you can have. There's, less, yes. uh, there's more control of your time. Uh, maybe there's a job that just doesn't serve you or you're finally dying to start that on your own business because the situation in is kind of painful. You hate the job. You hate being broke. You hate yes, having someone do. else tell you about your time. So, so half of you True. are listening to gain capabilities to move away from that painful situation. Okay. The other half yes. of you say, 
you know, my life is okay. It's not that bad, but I want more. I want the bigger house. I want the new car. I want vacations. I want to travel the world. I want to put my kids through the greatest university that exists. So some of you are okay, but you want to go towards pleasure. So what drove me is to compound those, to magnify those. And I, for me, in my younger years, especially Adrian, I was moving away from pain. I didn't like being broke. I didn't like not having money in my family. I didn't like that my parents worked so hard every day, night and day, and had nothing, nothing to show for it. We got evicted from homes because we couldn't pay the rent. I hated that so much that I used that as a burning desire to say nothing's gonna stop me. And as I got older, I found a way to go more towards the pleasure. But what I'd say is wherever you are is where you are. And don't compare yourself to others, but use it as your launching pad to get momentum. You see, for me, my burning desire was to, at a very young age, to retire my mom. She worked too hard to have nothing. That's where I started, right? And once I got that done, I retired both my parents in my 20s. Once I got that done, I found new things that, that created this energy in me. And I would look back and say, I don't want to go backwards. I want control of my time. I don't want anybody telling me when to go to work or when to pick up my kids or how to parent my children or where I have to live. And that, I kept that, that hunger mindset even when money was no longer an issue. And I still keep it to this day. That's why with my partnership with Tony, I treat it as if it's my first business because I want to fight for that and not let anybody, not, not fail. So go ahead. No, no, I want to ask you about Tony because you, you speak about Tony. When uh, when you have the first, first meet with uh, or impact with Tony and where did you start collaborating on uh, joint team programs with Tony? Okay, great question. And I'll just wrap up that last that last question is yeah, yeah. if you want more and you I don't think you'd be listening to Adrian if you didn't. If you want more out of life, you have to have a big enough reason to drive you towards it. And don't be afraid if it's painful, but amplify it. Because if you don't do anything different, the next five years is going to go by anyway. And what if nothing's different at the end of five years? How will that feel? And let yourself feel that pain. Don't just say, oh, I'm blessed. I'm grateful. No, the hell with that. Mm. Feel the pain of inaction. Feel the pain of your life staying the way it is. Like, I always think about this, Adrian, and I'll get to your second question. But I always think about... And I have to do these things because I want to stay driven. I want to be a great leader for people that follow me. I want to be a great leader for my children. I want to be a great husband to my wife and and a team leader. So what drives me? I think about being at the end of our lives and you get a chance to meet your maker and whoever you believe your maker is. But what if you're sitting along your maker and he said to you or she said to you, whatever you believe, um, uh, where did your, you know, how was life? And imagine if you said it was okay. And, they, and your maker said, why was it okay? Well, you know, I had a boss that would never give me a break. My wife didn't believe in me. Uh, I lived in the wrong area. I didn't have time. I think our maker, God, whatever you believe in, would be like, oh my God, I made you human. I gave you free will. I put you on this earth. I gave you a brain. There's nothing that could have stopped you except you. So when I think of those things, it drives me and motivates me, Adrian, to be a better version of me, to to keep climbing the next mountain, even when there's uh, uh, hazards and dangers in the way. So listen, I know some of you are facing things that maybe I can't even imagine, but think about all the people in the world that have been there and still were able to do great things. So all I'd say is all change starts with a burning desire to move away from something painful or to move, move towards something better. Whatever yeah. one fits you, decide where they are, amplify it, and get, look at your so goals. Profound. Yeah, and look at your goals every single day. Not once in a while, look at your goals every single day. Remind yourself of what you can achieve. Okay, so to Tony Robbins. So Tony changed my life 25 years ago when I bought his course. It put me in the knowledge industry because I gave Tony money, he sent me a course, it changed my life, I wanted to be in that industry. I wanted to help change lives for a living. So that was 25 years ago. About 10 years ago, a good friend introduced the two of us. Uh, We hit it off and became dear friends. Uh, We we talked two or three days a week, still (coughs) every week. Uh, But about two years ago, we decided 
that we wanted to help the world see that the fastest way to success is being a part of self-education. In the world, especially here in the States, Adrian, the college, the education system has not kept up with the moving times. The, the world yes. is evolving at this pace, at a, at a very fast pace, and colleges are at a snail space or a turtle Indifferent. pace, right? So what happens, the, the saying here in the States is, um, by the time the ink dries on your diploma, what you learned is already outdated. So what the world is doing in a big way is saying, I don't think universities for me or going back to school is for me. Trial and error is very difficult. It can take years to learn. I'm going to go learn from someone who's already done it. If you want to learn how to be in a personal growth, you learn from Tony. You want to learn from real estate and other things. You learn from me. And, but it's not just the experts anymore. People want to learn from those who have done what they're doing a little bit longer than them. So if you're in sales for five years, you can share that knowledge and help somebody who's only been in sales for a week. If you've Correct. been in accounting for five, 10, 20 years, you can extract that knowledge and share it with somebody who's only been in accounting for a week. And people Correct. are willing to pay for that in the tune of uh, right now, the knowledge industry paying for other people's knowledge, not college or not the <laughs> traditional education is a $455, cool. a $455 million a day industry. Wow. And it's an industry going so fast. So a couple of years ago, Tony and I got together and said, why don't we create a blueprint, a gold standard blueprint to help the world extract what they know, teach it to other people, impact their lives and get paid to do it. And that's how we all grow. That's how we fix a big problem. That's how we uh, have the sharing economy of sharing knowledge and people are paying for it at a rate they never did before. So we decided let's build a, a blueprint and a year ago we Knowledge. went Yeah, a year ago we went live the Knowledge Business Blueprint uh, KBB we went live and had the biggest online training in the history of the world over 200,000 people showed up um, and I we know. were able to show them all around the world because it has no boundaries. It, it's recession proof. Everybody in the world needs knowledge. They need specialized knowledge as Napoleon Hill said, general yes. knowledge no matter how vast and deep will never result to success. You need specialized Correct. knowledge going Correct. deep. So Tony and I Correct. taught the world how to extract what they know, find people who need it, sell it to them, impact their lives and move on. And it's become a movement. We have over 24,000 people strong in 80 countries wow. around the world, uh, a part of our KBB it movement. Was, it was epic and literally broke the internet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Were, you, were you there live with us, Adrian? Yes, yes. Oh, amazing, amazing. And, yes, I, and I, I'm happy to, to be part of, of, of KBB. Oh, I love and it. Now, uh, and we're going and now live I, again, and we're going live again on February 27th. So mark that on your calendar. If anything we talked about today uh, resonates with you. Yeah, anything 27th. resonates with you. Anything you feel like, wow, I want to know more, or you want to see Tony Robbins and myself live for two hours teaching. The, t the, the training is free. You can access it from anywhere in the world, but it's only one day. It's live and we we're only doing it once a year. So we oh. created a link uh, for anybody listening. You can go to Adrian's with an S, A-D-R-I-N-S link.com right now and you can register for the live training with Tony and I and then put it in your phone. Oh, thank you. Write it on thank the wall. Thank you for, for my audience. Yes, and, and the thing is, um, even if this interests you just a little, I would encourage you to show up. It was one of the most transformational trainings ever. Um, and we're going to be doing the same thing. We'll be in this studio, Tony and I live, and we have something really magical. We're going to share with everybody. And it's, and even, uh, when you register, we have a special <laughs> training that Tony and I created that we're going to send you immediately, even before we go live. So I'd love to have, uh, Romania and people from around the world, uh, representing and joining us as well. Thank you in the name of Romanian people. And uh, I want to ask you if it is a secret to getting paid for what you already know, or even uh, what someone else knows while making a massive impact on the world and changing lives. Uh, what about that? Is that, is that? Is, it is a secret to getting oh, paid yes. for yeah, yeah. what? Exactly, exactly. Because again, think about it this way. Um, 
anybody listening, anybody watching, yeah. how much would it be worth to you? Adrian, I'll ask you this question. How much would it be worth to you to go back and spend one full day with your 20 year old self? Oh, oh, I guess my, all, all, all the money from the world to, to, for one day. Just one day, imagine that. Like I get goosebumps wow. thinking about that. You would teach yourself some personal growth things like don't let negativity hold you back. Don't let an old story hold you back. Don't let friends hold you back. But then when it comes to investing or it comes to marketing or it comes to your business or it comes to anything that you built a skill in, imagine that value. And that's what I want to share with you. That's what the world is craving because there are 20 year olds, 30 year olds, 40 year olds, 50 year olds starting out on day one of something that you have a year in, five years, 10 years, 20 years. And when you can condense yeah. a decade or years into a day or two and share that with people through a Zoom call, through a Skype call like this, through an in-person workshop, through, an, through a mastermind, you get to transform lives and get paid really well to do it because people are realizing wow. four years of university. This is amazing. Or a weekend with amazing. somebody who's done it before and that's what we're teaching and that's why this has become a movement. I promise you, if you're listening, you have a skill, an expertise, an experience that you went through that could save somebody years or a decade and they're willing to pay you for it if you knew the process and that's what Tony and I are gonna share on the, the live training on February 27th. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. But now, uh, can can we have uh, uh, another few questions from? Yeah, uh, let's that? do two more questions for sure. Okay, uh, short one. Where comes the force of the self education? Where comes the force? The force of the self education. Um, you know, I think you, you mean why is it gaining momentum? Or why is it getting bigger? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's getting bigger because people are realizing even, so here in the States, and I think it's worldwide, uh, you know IBM, right? IBM is one of the first creators of computers. They built the mainframe. Yes. IBM, Google, um, Facebook, YouTube, have just announced that they're hiring people now without college, Amazon, Amazon without college education, without a four-year yeah. degree. They want people with specialized knowledge. And I go like this because it means it's going deep, right? So the world has changed. People are saying, yeah, you can go to college for six years, get a bunch of general knowledge, but when you get out of university, you still don't know what I need for me to hire you or for you to run a business. Um, but if you went to a weekend workshop or you went through a course or you went through a mastermind and learned from somebody who's been doing it for years, that's more valuable than a four-year degree. So the reason yeah. that uh, Forbes, uh, Forbes magazine here in the States just said that the knowledge industry is heading towards $1 billion a day. So if wow. you think about that, this is an emerging industry because people are saying no to traditional and I want this and we want to show the world how to access what they know, share it for impact and profit. Oh, thank you. I have a, a questions uh, from, uh, by the way, uh, from December, uh, Amazon is here in Romania in my town. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yes. Here's a point of a question. How, how much do you know about Romania and Romanians? How, do, how uh, would you be interested in speaking in Romania for the future? You are growing your personal brand and as you have to none of your book translated here in Romania. So that's something you might be interested in order to get more recognition at the uh, international level. Yeah, so this is I don't know enough about Romania. I know enough what I learned in school and what I, I read. I'd love to I'd love to know more about it, but I'm having my wife is a little having hint a, is Dracula Dracula land. Oh, I know that. I know that. Yeah, we know that part. Um, but Romania, I know Romania is beautiful. I know there's so much Very great, beautiful. you have so much history in Romania that is incredible history, uh, deep history that we don't have here in the States because yeah. we're so young, right? So I love well, the history of, of all European and, and Eastern European cultures. Um, but I'm having a baby. My wife's having a baby in three months. Oh. But we're deciding in a year from now, 
uh, in a year from now, we are going to do a world tour because we're getting asked to speak wow, in every country. Wow, this is fantastic. So, so we're probably this a year my... away from seeing you. You are my guest. We will be my guest in Romania. Well, listen, it, it's been such a pleasure spending time with you today, Adrian. I appreciate you jumping on. I appreciate all the work you do to help other people, you know, go to another level of life. Yes. Yes, I, I, I do with pleasure this. Now, uh, before I ask my final question, tell us where can this, where, uh, where my audience, f can you find you online? Because in this area, just few people heard about uh, yeah. Uh, king of inf infomercials. Yeah, so a couple things. <laughs> Definitely register at adrianslink.com for the live training. But I go, I do a story every day on my Instagram, uh, and I think it's why we our following is growing super fast because I go live every I, day. Uh, and I'm that's a follower. It. Yeah, on IG, on Instagram, at Dean Graziosi. Uh, we started, mm -hmm. so make sure you go to Instagram, hit me up, send me a, d a direct message. Um, and then also um, my podcast. We launched a podcast last year and it's growing really fast. So it's the Dean Graziosi Show. So those two are probably the best ways to get nonstop uh, this on a daily basis. I do three podcasts a week uh, and I do a story every single day on Instagram. Now, the final question. Please imagine this. You are underdog achiever. You are live into a country somewhere far away from America, from the US, and you have a dream to become a successful person. It's January 2020, and uh, you could only just one thing to completely focus on, to start to build your successful journey. Okay. What, do, what thing would it be? What should business people, entrepreneurs, trainers do to move to the next level in this digital age? Really great question, and I would say, without a shadow of a doubt, focus on marketing. Because what I see most new entrepreneurs do is they focus all their energy on the product, which is great, it has to be a great product or service. But once the product yes. or service is developed, then people focus on what their graphics should look like and what their cover should look like or what their logo should look like and what colors and if they should be online or virtual and it, should they build a website or get a ClickFunnels account. Or, and they go all through this and they ignore the most important part and that is marketing and sales. Without marketing and sales, you don't have a business. If you build it, they will not come. You need to understand marketing. You need to understand how to communicate, how to get people to say yes. So what I would say for anyone that wants to move the needle in your life, spend the next three to six months obsessing on marketing. Model what I do, model what Tony does, model what people in your industry do. If whatever niche you are in, find the most successful person in your niche and see how they're marketing and selling to get people to say yes. Model it, improve upon it, obsess on it, and watch how the needle will move way faster in any business that you start. Awesome, awesome, thank you Dan. Awesome. I appreciate so much that I accepted my invitation to being here with me. And please give us a final, so like a beginning of the new year. Yeah. Uh, the final thing I'll say is, you know, I, I don't know your circumstances. I don't know you guys personally. We all come from different areas and different religions and different backgrounds and different economic conditions. But I know this, I've been blessed to travel the world. And I see people from every background, every religion, every color, that when they obsess on the right mindset and they adopt a new way of personal growth in their life and they learn to overcome obstacles, they learn not to make excuses, they learn to uh, not listen to the negative people in their life, that is the foundation for success, wealth, abundance and joy. And I've seen it everywhere even with people coming from the hardest backgrounds. So I guess the moral of that is change the story that you tell yourself and you get the chance to change your life. Wow, so good. Thank you. Thank you, You're Dean. welcome. Adrian, I, it was a pleasure spending time with you. And for me, and I'm waiting to meet you personally here in Romania. Well, I hope I, I hope we get the chance. Or maybe in Vegas. Yeah, we, I hope we get the chance. So February 27th, go to adrianslink.com. And I'll see you all soon. Take care, Adrian. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.